Burns Night, 5 Top Tips for Hosting the Perfect Haggis Dinner Burns Night is upon us, the annual celebration of the life and enduring legacy of the Scottish poet Robert Burns. Whether you're Scottish or not, hosting or attending a Burns Supper is a lot of fun. Who wouldn't want to dress in their finest tartan, listen to bagpipes and fill themselves to the brim with hearty grub? The classic Burns Night meal is haggis, neeps, and tatties. For anyone unfamiliar with those three words though, allow us to explain. Haggis is a savory pudding made of sheep's heart, liver, and lungs, which is minced with onion, oatmeal, suet, stock, and a mix of spices. It tastes better than it sounds, trust us. Neeps are sweets and tatties are potatoes. To make sure your Burns Night goes off without a hitch, we've spoken to Haggis producer James Maxween, managing director of Maxween Haggis for his top tips. 1. Cater for everyone While vegetarians might run a mile from traditional haggis, they needn't miss out on the fun. When hosting a Burns supper, guests should be able to enjoy the traditional food no matter what their dietary requirements, Max Ween says. There are plenty of great vegetarian, vegan, and gluten-free haggises available today, often made with a lentil base, and thanks to the spices used they're as taste as meaty haggis too. 2. Consider straying from tradition. If you're bored of haggis, neeps, and tatties, why not put your own twist on the classic? If you are looking to steer away from tradition and try something a little different, haggis nachos or haggis sausage rolls are just a couple of alternative ways that haggis can be incorporated into the celebrations, Max Ween suggests. 3. But don't forget to address the haggis. It's not really Burns Night without the address to the haggis. Max Ween says. Robert Burns address is the perfect way to get everyone in the spirit. You absolutely must not tuck in without toasting the haggis, see Robert Burns' original address here. An enthusiastic spokesperson at the supper is of key importance to bring Robert Burns' words to life and create a celebratory atmosphere, Max Ween says. 4. Think about your drink pairings. Think Scotland and think whiskey, right? While it might be the presumed drink of choice for a Burns supper, it can be worth thinking outside the box. In truth, haggis pairs wonderfully with beer and wine as well, Max Ween explains. A good hoppy beer is one of my favorites with haggis. 5. Choose your music carefully. If you want to make it a real party, then music should be a top priority to help enhance the atmosphere, Max Ween points out. Head to Spotify and you won't be short of choice when it comes to Burns Night playlists. You can keep it classic with Strictly Rabbi Burns' own songs or you can celebrate everything Scottish, with The Proclaimers and Eddie Reader, to name a couple, Max Ween suggests. You might just have to bear in mind how long your guests will be able to handle bagpipes.